Hello everyone and welcome to the weird, scary and horrible parts of humanity. Today we are looking at the controversial death of an NFL player, Blender Gay, who was a defensive end in the National Football League. Also, this case deals with allegations of domestic abuse. If you are a victim or know someone who is a victim, please reach out to one of the following numbers. If you are in the United States of America, call the Domestic Violence Helpline on 1-800-7997-233. If you are in Canada, call the Domestic Abuse Helpline on 1-866-872-0113. If you are in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, call the National Domestic Helpline on 0808 2247. If you are in the Republic of Ireland, call the National Helpline on 1800 341 900. If you are in Australia, call 1800 Respect on 1800 737 732. And finally, if you are in New Zealand, call the Women's Refuge on 0900 733 843. If your country hasn't been listed, you'll be able to find numerous resources available to you, including helplines and hotlines in your country on the web. Abusers work 24-7, 365 days a year, and 366 days in a leap year. In a time where most of us are working from home, more and more women are the victims of domestic abuse at the hands of their partners, unable to escape. There is never any excuse or reason for abuse, and help is always available. Born on the 22nd of November 1950, Blenda Gay was born in Greenville, Pitt County in North Carolina, and attended H.B. Sugg High School in Farnville, North Carolina. After high school, he attended the Fayetteville State University and started playing on the Fayetteville State Broncos with the Broncos winning all CIA and Division II All-American tournaments, playing as a defensive tackle, weighing 255 pounds and at 5 feet 6 inches, Gay was impossible to stop and in 1973, upon graduation, he was drafted by what was then the Oakland Raiders into the training camp, but was then cut. The Oakland Raiders are now the Las Vegas Raiders. Without Gay, the 1973 Oakland Raiders had a strong season, winning nine games, losing four, and tying one, recording first place in the AFC West, winning the divisional round against the Pittsburgh Steelers 33-14, before losing in the AFC Championship game 27-10 against the Miami Dolphins. In 1974, Gay was picked up by the San Diego Chargers, which are now the Los Angeles Chargers, but only saw action in two games. The Chargers had a poor season and ended winning just five games and losing nine games, ending up fourth in the AFC West. However, he was seen as a warm, shy, and friendly individual. Gay also played for a semi-professional football team called the Model City Diplomats, earning $75 per game. In 1975, Gay was signed by the Philadelphia Eagles, becoming a regular defensive player and reaching the zenith of his career by playing in every regular game. The Eagles, however, throughout the late 1960s and 1970s, had a horrible performance record and by 1975 had nine consecutive seasons without a winning record, which was to continue in 1975 when the Eagles placed fifth in the NFC East, winning just four games and losing ten games. Gay and his wife, Roxanne Gay, who was born in 1951, moved to Clementon in New Jersey in the same year. In 1976, Gay and Roxanne had a daughter. On the 20th of December 1976, in the midst of the 1976 NFL season, Gay was murdered by Roxanne, who cut his throat in his sleep at their home in Clementon using a kitchen knife. Roxanne was charged with murder by the Camden County, New Jersey District Attorney. 
Roxanne claimed that the attack was motivated by her husband's extremely violent abuse and was acting in self-defense. Camden police indicated that she had made over 20 calls to police in the past three and a half years due to cases of domestic abuse, and neighbors claimed that following an eagle's loss, Gay had bounced Roxanne off the walls. Indeed, after one hospital stay, Roxanne signed a complaint against Gay, but this was later dropped. Feminists were outraged due to the allegations of long-term domestic abuse with Gloria Steinem, an American feminist, journalist and social political activist who was a leader and a spokeswoman for the American feminist movement in the late 1960s and early 1970s supporting Roxanne, the American liberal feminist magazine for which Steinem wrote funded Roxanne's defense. However, despite these allegations, after a sanity hearing of Roxanne by psychiatrists, it was found that Gay had not abused his wife, and Roxanne's attorney admitted that there was no evidence that the beatings had occurred. On the 11th of March, Roxanne was determined to be a paranoid schizophrenic who believed that her husband, family, and the police were planning on killing her, and she was ruled insane as, during the murder, she had been suffering from delusions, having suffered from mental health difficulties since childhood, thereby avoiding a life prison sentence. Gay's family disagreed that Roxanne was insane, with her father Herbert Gay telling journalists, I don't think she was crazy. My experience with her was that she was a violent woman, jealous. She even said it herself. Roxanne was confined at the Trenton Psychiatric Hospital, a state-run mental hospital located in Trenton, New Jersey, where she remained for three years before being released in 1980. Roxanne then moved in with her mother and daughter, now aged four, in Freeport, New York. Beginning in 1977, the annual Gay Game was held each December, ceasing just two years later in 1979. Gay was buried at the Sunset Memorial Park in his hometown of Farmville, Pitt County, North Carolina. Thank you for watching. Please do yourself a favor and hit that like and subscribe button and the bell icon to inform you when new videos come out. It helps more than you know and your support is truly appreciated. You'll also be seeing two other videos for you to check out. Until next time, stay awesome, stay classy, be kind to everyone you meet and have an amazing day.